Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. Welcome back to another tutorial video for the Insta360 X4. Now within this video, I'm going to talk specifically about how to use Insta360 Studio. Now I'm using the Insta360 Studio app on a Mac computer, but it's also available for a Windows computer. So the scenario within this tutorial is you filmed a video clip with your Insta360 X4 and you want to import that clip and you want to uh, make the basic edits so that you can use that footage say on YouTube or uh, whatever social media sharing site or maybe you don't want to upload it at all you just want to have the video for your own entertainment so the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my uh, USB-C cable to my X4 camera and then on the X4 camera's touchscreen I'm going to select U-Disc mode and by doing that, you can see here it says import automatically. I'll say select files. And this is my, uh, this right here is the folder on my uh, X4's card. So this is the video I captured. So what I want to do, and this is important because if you don't do this, you're going to have to power, you're going to have to keep your X4 powered on to edit. So I want to copy these video clips. I'll just do edit, copy to my local computer. So I've got a external storage card in my Mac computer. So I'm gonna put it in this folder called X4 import. So I'll just do the paste two items. Now you don't have to copy it to your local computer, but you can see here it's copying to my local computer. If you don't, you will have to keep your X4 powered on throughout the entirety of the video editing process. So, I mean, you, you may want to do that, that's fine, but I prefer to have the video stored locally on my computer. So it's got a few more seconds remaining here. And it is it has been successfully imported, so now I will disconnect my X4 camera, and we will go back into the Insta360 Studio app. So the first thing we want to do within the app, see where it says media, select media, and then do, uh, let's see, we'll do open files. And you can see here it automatically went to my X, this is my local storage folder called X4 import. So I'm going to select both of these and do open. Now the video has been Im imported. Now, or opened within the Insta360 Studio app, and my X4 camera is powered off, so this is coming from the computer. One of the, pro one of the first points of confusion that one may encounter is, well, where do I go? You know, I've, I'm in this video, but I don't see myself. First thing you want to do is go to Project up here at the top, and then once you're in Project, see, now you can see that video clip. So what you'll do is drag that video clip down here to what's called the timeline. Now, as I scroll through this clip, you'll be like, okay, well, there I am, but then I go off camera. Why is that? This is something that I found to not be super intuitive out the door. Lesson learned, and that's why I'm filming this video. If you put your mouse in this area here where the video clip is visible, if you hold the left mouse button and drag, then you can look all the way around. So in this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. That's me in this, in this sample video. I was, I was just filming a video clip with my X4 and 8K. I wanted to see what the microphone quality sounded like. So that's why it's called mic test. So what we'll do here is we'll go to the start of the clip. And again, just to re-demonstrate, if you're not in the camera's view by default here at the start of the clip, and you want to frame yourself throughout the entire clip, the first thing you want to do is drag this to find yourself or whomever you want to track. So in this video, I want to track myself throughout the entirety of this video clip. So from start here, see here's my marker here, and see if I drag, I walk off camera. But I want this Insta360 to do its magic and track me throughout the entire clip. So First thing in your project timeline down here, drag this little white arrow doohickey to the far left. That's the start of the clip. And then the next thing you do over here to the right where it says deep track, you select deep track. 
And as it says here, please drag with left mouse button to select the tracking target or click the automatically identified tracking target. So what I'm going to do is hold my left mouse button and just go over my face. See, now it's got me framed and I'll do start deep track. And you can see here, looking at the timeline at the bottom, it's becoming yellow which means it's analyzing, it's intelligently analyzing this video that I filmed with my Insta360 X4. And it's, while it's analyzing, it's tracking the desired subject, which is myself. And this is what makes an Insta360 camera so cool. Because when I filmed this video, and because it, it makes it invisible, I had my Insta360 X4 on a tripod on my deck and basically I was just walking in a circle of sorts around my Insta360 X4's tripod while the camera because it's a 360 camera it you know it's filming in all directions and that and that's what's so cool about this so that one camera that one X4 I was able to put on a on my selfie stick with tripod legs and film this with one camera traditionally someone would have to have multiple cameras facing in multiple directions to be able to achieve something like this. So this is going to continue depending upon the duration of your clip, the deep track, you know, if it's a, let's see, I don't want to disrupt it, but I think my clip's a little bit shy of two minutes if you look at the timeline, but you can see it's analyzing throughout the clip. And we're going to wait for this to finish. I just want to do the entire clip. Now, you don't have to do the entire clip. Say there's a video you filmed and it's got a car and then it's got a bicycle moving. And then it's got one person moving, another person moving. You could go through the editor and track different people. You don't have to track the same subject or the same person or, or uh, object throughout the entire vehicle, throughout the entire video, rather. So see, now that's finished. And that's indicated by this yellow stripe here. So now what we do, if I go back to the beginning and I push play to preview, what we should find is that... Okay, so this is the Insta360 X4's integrated microphone quality. I'm standing about, uh, I don't know, about a foot and a half in front of the Insta360 Insta X4. I'm pausing it. That's obviously the microphone audio from when I filmed this. But see, if I go through and just, you can drag this instead of hitting play, you can see now it tracks. Whereas initially this video clip, it was static. Well, it wasn't static because you could, you know, you could drag around in the, and see, I can still drag around in the view here. So, I mean, th this gives you, and see that, that's the only, th so you can see the shadow. So that was my invisible selfie stick. That's my X4, the shadow of it. And then that's my tripod base. So that's where I had the, uh, the invisible selfie stick and the X4 physically located. But see, you can look around in all directions. You can look straight up at the sky, see my solar uh, LED lights. I mean, this is phenomenal. So now you've, you've done the deep track, which is subject tracking. And, and again, in this video, we track me, but it could have been a car. It could have been an airplane. It could have been a boat, whatever's moving. I mean, you know, it... That's up to you. That's the beauty of this. But now that I've tracked myself throughout the entirety of this clip, like I said, I filmed this in 8K, as indicated there. Now what I want to do is export this clip for use in one of my video projects. So I want to take, okay, it was filmed in 360 degrees. You know, as you see here, it was filmed in 360. But now what I want to do that I've since I've tracked myself, is export the clip that contains the tracking as a standard 4K video clip. So to do that, what I do is up here in the top right where it says export, I select export. And then here's my export location. That's where I want it to go. And I'm just going to call it mic test.mp4. Now I can select my resolution. I could do 1080p, but I want to do 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. And that's the beauty of the X4 is that by filming natively in 8K, I'm then able to export the video that has the tracking in it in 4K. That's phenomenal. Um, you can choose your bit rate. I'm just going to leave it at 25. 
Now the encoding format, you've got options here. You can use H.264, H.265, or ProRes 422. And, and that's completely up for you, up to you rather. Since I'm going to take this clip that I have now that's 4K with tracking, you know, it's tracking me, and I'm going to edit it in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm going to choose ProRes. Personal preference. You could choose any of those options. And see, now ProRes, before I hit export, you can see that's 8.15 gigs. If I did H.265, that's only 351 megs. H.264, around the same. So with ProRes, it's a physically larger file, but that's what I want because I want to export and have the... Uh, the optimal format for my editing workflow in uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. So this this video again, you've purchased an X4, and if you haven't, by the way, expand this video's description and click the link there, and you can find where to order the X4 and the various accessories online. But uh, you know this this is the thing that that you need to become masterful with, and that's using this Insta360 Studio app. Now, this was just one of many tutorials, you know, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Insta360 X4 videos playlist. You can find a ton more tutorials, and likewise, if you have any questions or comments, comment below, and I'll try to post a uh, follow-up video response. I've been editing videos for many years, uh, but this is my first 360-degree Insta360 camera for the only re the only reason it's the first is that I didn't want one until they had 8K, and now this is 8K, so I'm able to utilize such an awesome tool, the X4, film natively in 8K, but then as you see here, export my footage into a uh, 4K format. That's I mean that's just amazing. I mean in the past I would have to have multiple cameras to accomplish this, but the export is fast. Um, I mean this is just this is a phenomenal workflow. So if you've been concerned about, oh, well, I'd like to do Insta360, but I know there's the post-production steps that I've got to do. Honestly, this is a lot more convenient than trying to lug around multiple cameras and then stitch all of that together. I mean, this is, you've got one camera, but you've got all directions, and you do what I just did here to track a, you know, a person or a car or a boat or whatever. So it's actually a very streamlined workflow. And what I'll be left with here, and we will, uh, we will pop it open as soon as it exports here. Uh, let's see, where is my... So it's exported, so we can do open in folder. And see mic test MOV right here. I'm gonna mute the audio. But see, this is the 4K. This is the 4K version of the footage that contains the tracking. So see, when I start to move here in a minute, I'll go ahead and fast forward it. See, as I'm walking around, it's intelligently tracking me. And, and obviously that's because, okay, well, it was filmed natively in 8K with the Insta360 X4. And then we performed within the Insta360 Studio the steps that I just showed you to deep track. So this is the product of that. So we took the, the raw video, the original video that was recorded by the X4. We imported it into a Mac computer. You could be using a Windows computer. That's fine. And then we ran the deep track. And then after running the deep track, we chose the desired export format. That included the resolution. I wanted 4K. This is 4K, but you could have done 1080, 1080p if you wanted to. But just look at how amazing that is. So I hope this video helped. I just wanted to post a video about the Insta360 uh, X4 workflow, uh, post-production uh, post workflow, you would call it, after you film the footage, because it's not daunting and it's not complicated at all. And that's one of the value adds, as you just saw here, is that the Insta Studio, Insta360 Studio app is not loaded up with a bunch of bloat, with a bunch of highly technical options. When you go into Insta360 Studio app, you're getting what you need, and that's the ability to take that footage from that X4 camera and then 
track the subject and then create a clip like this that's a standard video clip that can be used within whatever video production. So I hope this video helped. If it did, like this video, subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all my Insta360 videos. And if it really helps, send me a super thanks. You can find that thanks button down below this video. Not required, but appreciated. And if you're shopping for the Insta360 Insta X4, any of the accessories, expand this video's description, and then click the link there to find where to order it all online. And again, ask questions, post comments, because I'll be more than happy to film video responses to those questions. I love this uh, technology, and I plan to be posting a plethora of Insta360 content here on my channel, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Best of luck with your video productions, and I hope this video and my other videos help too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.